Welcome to Star Citizen and the Gentleman News. The CitizenCon is over, but there were some exciting news this week, including a real highlight. And after there was already some confusion about this new feature, which partly raised false expectations, we will go into detail about this new feature, the server crash recovery. With the server crash recovery, which will be a temporary solution until the implementation of the server meshing, we finally won't lose any cargo when trading or items to a server crash. This means that the effects of a server crash, which is usually referred to as a 30k crash, are much less severe, as we no longer lose everything we were carrying or, in the worst case, had loaded with many Alpha UEC in our ship. However, this is explicitly not the end of the server crashes or the 30ks, as these will continue to exist until the implementation of server meshing. Rather, the effects will cushion by, for example, being thrown out of the game by a 30k on the way to a trading point with your fully loaded ship and thanks to the server crash recovery, being able to log in again afterwards and spawn our still loaded ship again at the next terminal without suffering a loss of cargo. However, we are not back at the point at which we suffered the server crash, but at the point where we had set our recovery point. And how does this work? After a regular logging of the persistence was made possible with the new iCache system, in the event of a server crash, the system can, in simple terms, save the last available memory image of the player and make it available when re-entering any server. This then means that the cargo on the ship's status with his hit points and fuel, as well as all items, return in exactly this last state. In the long run, this will be handled by server meshing. It will allow the player information to be stored comprehensively and allow one to be restored to the exact point at which an abort occurred, mid-quantum flight, etc. It is also important to note that this innovation is specifically for server crashes. Client crashes, which are often also reflected with a 30k designation in the game, will continue to be handled the same way as they are now, with the current crash recovery feature. An implementation of the server crash recovery is still planned in the current PTU phase, before the live version. And I've put the link explaining this new system in the description, in case you want to read it again here. The CitizenCon goodie pack is already being distributed, but many citizens have been left empty-handed so far. CIG has stated that they are aware of the problem and that there will be a solution for the distribution of the pack in the near future. The pack will then automatically appear in your hangar. It is still possible to participate in the CitizenCon ship voting, where you can choose from four upcoming concepts and cast for your vote directly. Currently, a large exploration ship is clearly leading, which will come from manufacturer MISC. The winners of the CitizenCon video contest have also been announced. You can check if you are one of the winners in the corresponding Spectrum thread. And also from us again, a thank you to all who participated. There were really some highlights. And also, an aftermath of CitizenCon is the subsequent availability of the Chrome skin or CitizenCon skin with the new Origin 400i, which is now also available individually as the Meridian skin in the Pledge Store. Initially, this was only offered with the ship itself, but due to the criticism from the community, it is now available separately. If you buy the 400i as a standalone or warbond, the skin is included free of charge. But there have already been some patches on the test server too. Among other things, the ground clearance of the Origin 400i has been adjusted to make it possible to load higher vehicles, such as the Grey Kid Rock. So you have the possibility to follow the dirty and dusty rock mining with the luxury exploration version of Origin, but with more style. And not only the rock is transportable, but also cyclones with substructures and generally higher vehicles of the small vehicle category. By the way, you could also load a buggy in front of the hoverby garage. A statement was also made about the current in-game loss of purchased hangar items and objects. These items will be made accessible again in the game in the medium term. All through, a final mechanism for this has not yet been announced. Currently, various possibilities for this are being examined. However, a permanent loss of these items is out of the question. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and leave me a like and maybe even a subscribe here. After CitizenCon is before the next event, which awaits us in November with the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2951 on Orison in the Crusader area. Here we will experience some new ships and surprises. With the current version 3.15 there is also clear progress to be felt, as well as the possibility to finally be on the move again as a trader in the verse and also to benefit from the new server crash recovery. But as always I'm interested in your opinions on the subject, what do you think of today's news? Let me know in the video comments in Discord or in the Twitch live streams. But as always the most important thing at the end, a big thank you to all Patreons, channel members or Twitch subscribers. Without you this wouldn't be possible and we like to say thank you, you rock! And of course there will be extensive and top-notch giveaways from the best partners and as again this month. You can find how to take part and what to expect in the following announcement trailer. Good luck! I say goodbye, until next time, see you soon and as always, see you in the verse. Let's go.